In this video, I'm going to give a quick introduction to the NavIO Plus board. So the NavIO Plus board is a sensor shield that can be mounted on the top of a Raspberry Pi 2, like I've done here, and then mounted inside of your vehicle, whatever it is. In my case, it's, a, it's an older Iris. Uh, this sensor shield has all the uh, regular sensors that you know, an autopilot needs, like an IMU, a barometer, a compass. Uh, it's even got a U-Blocks M8 uh, built right in. And uh, for inputs, it, it accepts the regular RC input, a PPM sum, uh, and uh, it has you know, servo outputs, regular PWM uh, servo outputs. Uh, it uses the same DF13 connectors as a uh, Pixhawk. That means that if you've got things like a, uh, you know, a 3R radio hanging around, you can just you know, plug that and use it in. No need to buy a new one. In, in general, our uh, Arduino Pilot's support of Linux is a little bit green. So most of the features work. Uh, all the flight modes work. Auto, pause, hold, loiter, stabilize. They all work fine. Um, but some features do not work yet. Um, so for example, uh, on this iris you'll notice that there's no safety switch because uh, it doesn't support that. Also the LEDs don't work. So, so you know, some of these features will hopefully be added in the future but they're not there for now. Uh, probably one of the best things about the NavIO board is its potential. So because of all that extra CPU power that it's got, uh, it would be very good in the future for uh, image recognition or, or image processing applications, for example, maybe visual follow me or precision landing, that, that kind of thing. So now I'm going to give it a flight and you can see that it uh, works basically the same as a uh, APM2 or a Pixhawk flight controller. This is altitude hold. Loiter. Face it the other direction. Okay, seems to be all right. Now it's done its whole mission and it's coming down. Sorry, it's hard to see because there's no ground reference. One last little warning though is that uh, because the RG Pilot support of Linux boards is still a little green, the setup for the NavIO board is uh, much more difficult than for the uh, Pixhawk boards. So for example, when you want to install uh, the software, it's not as easy as just plugging in the mission planner and, and pushing on the quad button. Uh, instead, you actually have to log into it uh, with a uh, terminal emulator like PuTTY uh, and download the latest software and, and then it'll be okay. So uh, just a warner, little word of warning there, it's slightly more difficult to set up than a, uh, than a Pixhawk or an APM2.